Hello everyone, if you are watching this video then you probably have solid state drive and wondering how to maintain and keep it healthy so you can use it for many years. I'll show you six steps that you should do immediately once you buy an SSD. The first one is to monitor your write activity because as you know solid state drives have limited number of writing cycles. You can't write you cannot write as much information as you want. At some point it will fail. To do this, to monitor this, go to resource resource monitor uh, utility built into Windows and uh, over here on top on navigator um, disk tab from here you will see your disk writing activity over here on the right tab for me the process uh, writes the system process writes about three megabytes of information each second on clip 0003.avi file. This is actually the video I'm recording right now. That's why the activity is so high. For you, it will look something else. If it looks like ready boot under a prefetch folder, then you should actually disable prefetch because SSD drives do not need it. In order to disable prefetch, you have to go to performance monitor performance monitor and from here go to data collector sets startup event trace sessions and ready boot for you it will say enabled right click properties trace session and unmark this so it won't say enabled then click OK, reboot, you won't have prefetch. The third step is to limit the size of page file. To do this, go to right click on my computer, go to properties and select advanced system settings. Or if you have Windows 7, just type advanced system settings. And over here, click settings under performance, go to advanced click change and select custom size and put it at least 400 megabytes do not set this to zero or do not disable it completely you need at least 400 megabytes otherwise your system will crash then click OK click OK it will ask you to reboot reboot it if you want and you will have small page file you don't need page file for SSD drive neither the fourth step is to use this free tool called Process Monitor. I'll include a link in my description section. From, from here, you're going to want to type, I mean, choose Operation option, and then Contains, type Write. So this tool will monitor any operation that contains writing activity then include it and edit and then click OK and you will see all the all the processes that write some kind of information in your drive as you see hypercom 2.exe this is my um, video recording software but I also have a lot of Casper Sky antivirus activity I noticed that the problem is that under system application protection settings there is something called system watcher if I disable it Casper Sky will be less active and it won't write too much information on SSD if you are not really worried about this extra protection which I don't really think you need then you can go ahead and disable it if you are using Casper Sky if you have something else you need to analyze and monitor for yourself that was the third fourth step the fifth one is to disable Windows disk defragmentation tool go to start start advanced system settings No, actually, you need to go to services. I'm sorry. This is a Windows service. You need to disable. Okay, find the Windows, right? Windows. No.
anyways oh here disk defrag here here it is right click go to properties choose disabled and if it's running then click stop click OK it will ask you one more click OK after you reboot your computer you won't have this fragmentation running and the sixth and most important step is to enable trim support for your drive an operating system trim is a type of file handling system that SSD uses this is so far the most important step go to command prompt and run it as administrator and type this command right here I will include it in my description section so you can copy and paste you don't have to type it hit enter and if you see the return value as zero disable delete notify zero that means your trim is enabled you do not have to do anything if it says disable delete notify equals one then you should type this command in order to enable it click that if you hit enter that will enable your trim I don't have to do it because I already done it once these were six important steps that you have to do immediately once you get SSD I also would like to show you this free tool called SSD ready I discovered it yesterday this is a great tool it shows total rights for your uh, drive this way you can analyze and see what activity you have and if you click est uh, estimate SSD life it will take you to a website web page and if you click estimate it will tell you how long your drive is gonna last of course you have to do this at the end of the day because you need to monitor your daily activity I don't have this in my program because I'm using the free version you can buy it if you want anyways thank you for watching this video if you have any questions or comments please please feel free to leave a message thank you